<clears throat> Let's go, boys. I missed yesterday, but I still played yesterday, so... Didn't miss too much. Or PM. Hmm, it's the fishing party today. Tourney today. Brofina. I have never heard of them. Hmm. I did, uh, when I went to a, a, what's it called? Ooh, new music. So I went to a, uh, an island yesterday. In the, in the game, of course. On your life, and just, you know, can't move and all. Locked down and such. But, uh, when I did that, uh, I found another villager. So, and then I asked them to come. So they did. But it wasn't the one that just appeared in the island, apparently. Apparently, they're just some, someone random who just appeared in the island, so... One of your friends told me you you haven't paid your debt by the end of the week, so Nuke will break your knees. Have fun! Oops. You can have that, I don't want it. Oh, the trees are back to normal now. Steals entire swing bench. Sacrificing zip to the almighty Cthulhu tomorrow at 10. Bastard eggs. Oop. I was spamming that button. It's a fucking Easter tomorrow. I know, right? Actually, Easter. Wow, this is a, this is a sweet place. No pun intended. Place another lot. <laughs> I don't know why I placed another lot. Oh yeah, I remember. It's a uh, bottom left. We should also fish a bunch. Talk to the fishing guy. The eggs here are like three for a pound. That's pretty good. Thanks for fossil. We're still getting eggs though. So. We're not out of the eggy waters yet. I haven't seen this villager yet. Show me. Show me the money. Oh, wow. 
We got a second chicken. Huh. They have bro in their name. Hmm. <laughs> that would be pretty epic. Wow, Tex, you're definitely looking like something. Should probably get started on that fishing journey, you know? So we'll talk with him. Look at this grouping. Must be looking tougher. <laughs> Oh, backstroke in if you catch at least three fish. Catch at least three fish? I can catch three in one minute. Probably. Now that I said that, I probably can't. Oh. Fucking egg! I mean, what am I supposed to do against an egg, you know? Okay. Well, I guess I'm getting no progress. Okay, so I did catch three fish in one minute, but they were all eggs, because fuck me. For fuck's sake! I can't make any progress, dude! Dude, the Easter event is horrible. I think it's really bad. It's a stone, by the way. Not an actual fish. Watch. Oh, no, it was. Ooh! 
Just catch Dory, yep. Well, that was pretty epic. Having an entire minute wasted. Swag. I suppose fishing's gonna be a, a pretty lucrative way to go right now. That's a fucking egg, by the way. Watch. Oh no! It was a red snapper. Oh, fuck. I fucked it. Man, I sure do hope Nintendo doesn't do another event like this Easter event. Wink, wink. As if they don't have several planned already. Oh, come on. Ooh. Times five. Redeem Nook Miles. Uh. That doesn't give that doesn't give me money. That makes me lose money. I, mean, I suppose it makes me lose less than uh if I didn't have it. Of that present. Where is it? Oh, it's in my uh, my fishing rod slot. I'm pretty sure I've got a spare. Uh, what's it called? Fishing rod. No, I don't. Put all the, the resources in. Can I sell fish to him? I wonder if I can, because I hope I can, because I stored up fish just to, you know. Because I knew he was coming back. Here's an egg recipe present just for wonderful all you. What kind of recipe could it be? A wardrobe? That, could, that might not be the worst.
Some tree branches, some wood, and I think you need iron? You might not need iron for the, uh, for a fishing rod. I'm surprised you ain't got the TV yet. The TV? That actually looks pretty good. Uh, that does not, though. Oh, it does require a nugget. I should also check what's in the shop and what's uh what the hot item of the day is. I made a lot of money yesterday by making a lot of the hot item, which was a barrel, I think. Am I able to selfish? So it might be best to go for small fish. Because I'm pretty sure big fish like this have a high chance of being uh, eggs. They're very deceptive. Oh, I should scare it away. Come on, get across. Oh my god. I hate it because it takes so much fucking time. Just dump it, dude. Nice dab. Where are all the fish at? Come on. Fuck you then. Okay. <laughs> 
Hmm. Yeah, I think the the event plus the uh, Easter event is a really bad combo. So I'm guessing I can't sell fish to you, so you're useless basically. Ah, no, we can... Okay, we can sell fish. Well, then we go and get literally every single fish we have. Because I have a lot of fish stored up. Well, first we gotta get rid of the egg. Because we don't need egg. Give me it all. And clean out as well. So that's what he gets for uh, for doing it during freaking Easter. Give me money. Honestly, he's probably not even going to give me that much for this. Probably like 30k. Not even probably. I mean, my estimations are grossly high usually. He's going to give me like 20k. Uh, I'm selling all of this. There you go. Wow. That's low even from my estimations. I'm almost confident I would get more money from the from the nook cranny. You know, they say they buy them for a higher price. It feels like that price is like 5%. Give me all. Like, you know, all that work, collecting all those fish, just to get, like, 16k? Man. Fishing is such a waste of time, dude. That'd be cool. Oh, I didn't mean to ask for the tourney. I'm not playing this tourney. Let me sell all of this, please. Can't wait for that 10k you're gonna give me for all this fish.
Definitely uh, clearing out his bells, so to say. And sure hope he has money to get home to her. Yeah, she's actually talking now. Oh shit. <laughs> John suit. Ooh. It's a nice green color, honestly. There's some, uh, Demon Slayer masks right there. Yeah, I saw it. Pretty gamer. Nothing much interesting here. Can get the Tron suit. Ooh, and there's the uh, Alice in Wonderland dress. I suppose we could try the uh, fishing journey again later on in, a, in like half an hour or so. But man, the existence of the eggs is so bad. <laughs> the third hardest ranked Beat Saber map. Honestly, when it came to Beat Saber, I didn't play anything above uh, hard difficulty. I was not very good at it. Why don't we go have a look at our, our trees? We're doing pretty alright. It was a hell of a workout in the arms. She must not work out on, on any other part of your body. Well, not really. I mean, you could just di like di move around a lot more and, you know, dance. Hmm. Like competitively. What do we do? 
I guess we go for, uh, just, you know, getting resources, talking to people. They're all occupied fishing now. You see the cursed guns? Yeah, I saw them. Oh yeah, we haven't checked in these dudes yet. Also the Teletubby pudding, right there. What is the hot item today? Succulent plant. I don't think we have a succulent plant. Hmm. Do we have a DIY recipe for a succulent plant? Well, we do. Oh wow, uh, that's uh, not very easily gettable, I think. So, I don't think we're getting that one. Will it blend? This young raccoon is too dangerous. We have to deal with it. But we shall crush it. A blender, 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 burning a blender. Uh, sorry. Can I blender, blender, blender? Blending a blender. Uh, I mean, if you keep them in tight, I'm sure it would explode, honestly. Scales. Exactly what we all need in this moment of not having- of not being able to do anything. the tree for the fruit and we consume the fruit consume it and we uh pull out our shovel again welcome to russia we crush raccoon have fun debil I wonder if there's a Russian... Actually, you know, if there was a villager in this game who was Russian, I think I know who it would be. It's probably the one that I found on the island yesterday, which I didn't stream. I played by myself for about an hour or two. Because they, uh, they're a very popular one, actually. They were, they're one that everyone... Seems to like a lot. They were, they were Fang. But they had like an insanely deep voice compared to the rest of their, their body. And I guarantee they're probably the one who's probably Russian. If there was a Russian villager, it's probably Fang. If guy's gonna play with himself every now and then, it's fine. Is the one that looks like a fuckboy? Fang is the, 
Owner, can you see him on the map, considering he reserved a spot? No. But he has reserved a spot. Cheeky breaky. Square top right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's reserved that square. Because it says uh it's so either that or some random villager took it. Because if we go over to it, it says sold. Yep. He's gonna go in there. Honestly, we've got to try and, and actually think about the ethnicities. Ethnicities? That's the wrong... It's a, it's a close term. Not the right one, though. Basically, we've got to think, like... Where would these, uh... What country would these villagers originate from? You know? Like, where, where would Isabel come from, for example? Depends on the animal. Isabel is probably like definitely somewhere in the European side. Tom Nook is somewhere like Spain. I'd say she's a high-class Londoner. Yeah, I would say she's probably somewhere around there. You were sitting there chilling, and then you hear, "Give me a sticker. We didn't just talk to break again, bro." Yeah, I'd probably say that there is a balls around the UK-ish. Probably up in London. I mean, definitely not in Scotland. I don't think she's... Uh, maybe she... Maybe? Would she be Scottish? I don't think so. Doesn't suit her. I mean, you can see in the, in the, in the opening of every day, she does have a big glass of whiskey, so... Like I said, the first because you have no idea how the fuck to say it. I mean, that's the only way to say it, uh, only way to say it, if you don't know how to say it. Like, so, I don't know, India or Africa? That's where you find elephants. You know, I'm pretty sure we go. To a, a, a mystery island. Literally at the exact same time every stream. Like 40 minutes in. And then it lasts all the way until an hour and 10 minutes in or so. Or an hour in. Yeah, I, I couldn't really figure out where to put Axel actually. Actually, no, because what maybe USA, maybe up in that DC area where all the fat cats are. I was thinking he looks a lot more like like somewhere around Spain or India or something. I 
think Wilbur and uh, and Thingy, Orville. Honestly, I think they're maybe American. They seem like the American type. Plus, you know, Wilbur has the uh, n yeah. I think it's Wilbur. Wilbur. He has the massive Top Gun shades, so of course he has to be American, you know. Austria, maybe. Have the hit song "In Love with an E Girl," Australia. Australia? Think it would be Australian? Hmm. I'm assuming they're they're brothers or something. And if they're brothers, if whichever. Uh, I definitely think that Wilbur is American. And if they're brothers, then that means obviously they're both American. So, you know, they come from the same place, I would assume. that we have kiwis not sure on our dodo population i mean surely the dodo population is pretty high i mean i guess i'm not considering the actual animals location i'm more or less considering their character you know So if we consider them by their animal's location, that'd be very different. They're extinct, you blip. I know. I was, I was doing a joke. Weren't they, didn't they go extinct because of, uh, because they couldn't fly? Or they were a bird that just decided, all right, we're done evolving now. Aggressive to down we all. It's more they were just stupid animals. I actually know what I guess we do have flightless birds. Also they're yeah, okay, if they were around during the ice age, they're they're freaking tiny, dude. They would freeze to death pretty much instantly. That is ungamer. They didn't run from humans or other predators. So you're telling me if the humans were nice, we would have got we would, the dodos wouldn't be extinct anymore. That's a wake up call for American Americans. Dodo was about the size of a house cat. How evil we were. Luckily, we evolved higher brain functions. Well, some of us did anyway. Oh my 
God, the freaking waterfall is loud, dude. Those are aggressive little fuckers. You know, uh, I bought a uh, frozen haddock recently. Great, uh, great conversation starter, by the way. If you ever walk into a party and you have no clue what to do and you're feeling awkward, you just come in and say, Yo, I bought frozen haddock yesterday. And instantly, you're kicked out. But that that's, I didn't say it was going to be successful. But... These have died off due to the Dutch sailors hunting and eating them. Huh. But I brought frozen uh, haddock yesterday because I really want wanted haddock. You know, I haven't been out for a while. I kind of kind of want that that nice juicy fish. And the frozen haddock I bought kind of tasted like shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's understandable. I wasn't expecting like gourmet shit from frozen haddock that you would buy from a store. But it didn't really taste like proper haddock. It's a shame. I just said the Waga Gap is fake. The Waga I said Waga Gap? Wait. Getting fresh fish is difficult with everything going on. I would imagine it would be, I guess it wouldn't be easier. Considering people aren't buying it at local stores, but. I guess that means they're out of business right now. Actually, not true. Well, it's not allowed to go out at all. Why, though? It's not like coronavirus is attacking them like a freaking tentacle monster, dude. This is also pretty expensive. Yeah, but I was I was willing to pay good money for for some good fish, honestly. Like uh, the best type of haddock. I remember this uh, a while back, but if your haddock doesn't fall apart when you eat it, it's not cooked right. Like you know when you when you you tear a bit off and it easily comes off. You know you you, you pull on it and it just separates. That's a well, that's a well cooked. Haddock. When it comes off in sections, where you can you can see the the splitting. If it's oh fuck, well no, hit the rock, you fucking idiot. Well, I, we're not getting any more resources out of that one. Which I like to go out in case they go to another island. But the, uh, the haddock I bought, it tasted extremely processed, which is understandable. It's, it's processed food, but, you know what I mean? It, it wasn't, it wasn't a haddock. It was like haddock mushed up and then put into like a square and then you put batter around it and then, but that's not haddock, dude. But I really just want, like, an actual 
proper haddock at some point. That's a shame because I'm, I'm, we can't get one right now. Bird haddock pate. Honestly, we were talking about it yesterday, but breaded or battered 110% of the time. Batter is good, but um, breaded is just better. Whenever you put batter under uh, around fish, it turns insanely soggy. Like if, if it's cooked right, it can be... Yeah, we did talk about this, this not yesterday, but the day beforehand when we were playing Animal Crossing. But typically speaking, the uh, when you batter something, there's a high chance it's going to be soggy when you get it. And soggy fish? Nah. Uh -uh. Soggy fish is no. But if you bread something, the chance of it going soggy is a lot less. Because, you know, there's it's breaded, not battered. You don't create a, a cocoon around it, you create a shield. It makes it crunchy. You know, one thing that's exempt from that? Smoked sausage. I, I agree 100%. Smoked sausage battered is not, will never be soggy. That shit is, is, is never going to be soggy. So, yeah. So, battered, battered sausage. That's, that's good. Sausage, yeah. Yeah, it's sausage. Yeah, it, it, was, it wasn't going to get soggy anyway. Because it's a sausage. But, typically speaking, whenever you batter something, it just gets extremely soggy. Fix batter sausage. Dude, battered sausage is great. Soggy sausage? Hmm, y'all ever get a soggy sausage? Me too. My sausage gets soggy all the time, dude. Just if you've not tried battered sausage, dude, it's so good. I'll stick with meat pie and sausage roll, thanks. Weak. You can get battered mac and cheese pies. Don't tell me battered pies too. Oh god. Now battered pies. That's that's where I draw the line. Oh. Top of the hour. Butter pies are pretty, pretty horrible. Who think putting meat in a pie is weird? Jesus Christ, the cow died for your sins. What do you mean people think putting meat in a pie is weird? A meat pie is like an actual pie. It's basically a sausage roll. The only pleasant. Pleasant the pie. It does, but they're like functionally the same. It's meat with a uh around it. 
could have bread. Or pastry. Yeah, pastry, that's it. Sick bacon and cheese pies are orgasm worthy. I'm real. I don't like pies at all. I don't know, something about pies I just really don't enjoy. I'd much rather have uh, something in a bun. Like uh, sausages in a bun. Oof, that's nice. Marinus pie. Some battered haddock fillets, and they look decent, but they were so much smaller than shown. Honestly, I wish I knew how to batter or uh, our bread stuff. I'm sure it'd be easy to, to figure out how. Just look up a tutorial, you know? How to batter food. Okay, Google. How to batter food. Hey Alexa, play that one album by Death Grips, which has the penis cover. Thank you. Don't agree the Flintstone gummies are the by far the best food purchases. Now the best food purchases? Donuts. There we go. Donuts are the ultimate fat food. Honestly, I think I just like stuff that's, that has bread in it. <laughs> You know exactly what you're talking about. I imagine most people would know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, not most people. That's a lie. I don't. I don't think I can walk up to any random person and say, "Hey, have you seen the album with the penis cover?" And they're like, "What the fuck are you talking about? Get away from me! I'm calling the police." Jam and cinnamon donuts are very nice. I'll give you that. No, 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 no. Sugar donuts. Donuts, they are soft and they just have sugar. Those are good. If they're made with a good, uh, good bread or good consistency, they are excellent. Put your fish and egg, cover in uh, flour or fry or cover in egg, flour, cover again in dipping bread. Hmm. Just beaten egg flour and if you want bread comes. Uh where do you oh do you how do you do you fry it by just putting it on a pan? Cinnamon is hundred percent sugar, what are you talking about? Yeah, but cinnamon cinnamon isn't sugar. You know? Cinnamon is cinnamon is its own thing. Saying that cinnamon and sugar are the exact same thing taste wise is got a better tongue, but Also, cinnamon gets very sickly after, like, five bites. And if I'm eating donuts, I'm eating donuts for days. What was, what was I looking for? Oh, fossils and medicine. Cinnamon is good enough for me, just brown sugar if raw sugar didn't exist. Yeah, cinnamon is good. Uh, sugar ain't gonna make you choke. I mean, sugar is gonna make you choke, but it's gonna be over the course of 40 years. Instead of instantly. 
and do permanent damage. Let's go donut su uh, supplier burnt down so we're at a proper jam and custard donuts. Dude, it's a shame. All the, the donut things I liked from Tesco's just are gone now. It's can't get them. I mean, actually, I can still get uh, donuts with icing. Which is what I, I buy whenever uh, I want to feel ashamed of myself. It's all ring donuts. Yeah. Ring donuts are pretty good. They're, they're, they're a-okay. Prawns are fantastic too. You know, I actually really like artificial prawn flavor, but I don't know if I actually like real prawns. I think I tried real prawns once, and I was like, yeah, this tastes okay. And then I never tried them again, and I haven't really properly... Because there's multiple different types of prawns, and you can prepare them in tons of different ways. I also tried uh, salmon at some point, and I really liked salmon. I really like prawn cocktail. I really like the prawn, the artificial prawn taste that gets put into crisps. I think that tastes quite nice. <laughs> he said cock. I want to try a lot more things, honestly. I've said for a long, long time that I just really don't like mushrooms. Like, mushrooms are fucking disgusting. <laughs> they taste so bad. I was going to give an addendum to that statement, but I got I got distracted with the inventory. Monster chocolate sauce is basically just spitting in God's wine. Fucking love mushrooms. I absolutely hate mushrooms. The texture is horrible. The taste is horrible. The, mm. Banana with chicken. Oh, God. Mushrooms, garlic, butter, and toast. Ugh. But the, uh, the thing about mushrooms is, uh, there's like 20,000 different types of mushrooms. And I've only tried one. And I know, and from what I know, all of them taste different from each other. So, like, all of them have a different texture, they, they have a different taste, have a different aftertaste. I have, the mushrooms that I've, I've commonly tried, I consistently don't like. I like to bring up the fact that I've never eaten a mushroom. You can only eat 20. Honestly, I want to go on a, uh, it sounds, it sounds funny, but I want to go on like a, an eating binge at some point, you know, like, uh, <laughs> Don't you mean every day? Duh? Yeah, okay, but... I mean, like, uh, eating new things binge, you know? Where, uh... Shame, there's no real way to... There's no real easy way to do that, because if you go to a restaurant and you want to eat something you've never tried before, you have to buy a whole meal, and if you don't like it, well, tough shit, dude. I can't just go, can I try this, 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 and this? 
And then if you buy it, you have to prepare all of them and you're not actually making a real meal, you're just preparing something to try it. And even then it usually comes in bulk implying that you actually enjoy it. But I, I want to try a bunch of stuff. Like I, I would try pretty much every food I could, like as long as it didn't, you know, kill me. And we'll get you high. But I would love to try just a whole host of food, like all of the all the fancy stuff, all the uh, simple stuff. I want to try all the different types of mushrooms. I want to try a... Uh... I wonder if you can, can get a mushroom grab bag. You know, uh, a, just like a, a bag full of many types of mushrooms. Granted, I bet you don't cook them all in the same way. I bet some of them you would you would steam, some of them you would fry. I think most of them you fry. prepared differently depending on country. Y'all want to know a fun fact that I just remembered? Because you're, ta you're talking about mushrooms that get people high, right? But a small little little fun fact. In one of my streams, in, well, in one of my streams, I was high. Like, drug high. I'm not going to tell you which one it is, but in one of my previous streams, which was about one or two years ago, but I was actually high during one of my streams. Because, uh... What I did was I actually... I think I took a massive hit from a, a bomb at some point of marijuana. And I was like... it was in, I was in the process of streaming. So, uh... You know, I came downstairs and they were like, Hey, you should try this. And I was like, alright, sure. And I tried it. Was it magic mushroom? No, it was uh, it was marijuana and a bomb. But then they gave me a hit, and then I went back upstairs and continued streaming. So during one of my streams, I was actually like pretty high. Luckily, it was a stream that didn't really require me doing much. And I, so I don't think people could tell. And I don't think, and if you looked right now, you probably also couldn't tell. You would probably find a lot of false positives, actually. That's my bet. Where you'd be like, oh, this is the one, isn't it? And then you link it to me, and I'm like, no. I was probably just being stupid. Uh, or I was tired, you know? Could be either or. So I guarantee you it'd be pretty difficult to tell. I don't think anyone's gonna find it. But it is on YouTube. I don't. I, I've never. I never said anything about it. Relative to onion. I know that for sure. When how, how are we allergic to cashews? I feel fortunate because I don't. I'm not allergic to anything. I think. Actually, no. It's weird. I am allergic to. Uh, the one specific thing from what I remember. I think I'm allergic to copper. I could be wrong. I, I'm definitely allergic to something. Uh, a specific metal. Because when I went into have an operation at one point when I was around five, year, five or six years old. I took a massive allergic reaction to one of the metals they were using on their tools. And I can't remember which one it was specifically.
So it's weird. I'm allergic to a, uh, a metal, but I'm not allergic to any food. From what I know. I mean, again, I haven't experimented too vividly. You know, my diet is, is fucking burgers and, and shit like that. So I don't really experience a lot of uh, different foods. Delicious to at least something, but some people will go their entire lives not knowing what it is. I'm not allergic to cats. I'm not allergic to any animal, from what I can tell. So she says they tried to kill me. The fucking cashews. They're coming for me. Yeah, I don't know what to do in this game right now. I guess maybe we build a lot. If we can. You know, I don't think we can build a lot. Because from what I saw on the map, we, were, we reached the max capacity. Where you can have only 10 islanders at once. And I see we reach max capacity because, you know, we have one slot left and Fang is going to go into that, that house. So I bet... I bet if I talked to Tom Luke and asked for, for a new house, he would say nah. But it's so processed these days, they'll fucking come for you. It's a shame that food is so processed. Ugh. Processed food fucking stinks, dude. Or most of it. Eventually we're gonna be eating fucking... Well, like astronaut food, where it's just drinks full of food. It's gonna be so processed. It's barely even gonna be food anymore. Books and bars. Wait, it looks like he's letting me. So I guess we can try it. I swear we, we can only have 10 islanders per thing, though. Sure, there's pretty good as far as processed food goes. Sure, there's plenty, but there's also plenty of that good shit. You know, I had a few, uh, I had a few friends over uh, about a week ago, two weeks ago. Not, not my friends specifically. I mean, some, one of them was. But it made me realize how much I don't have a, t a tongue for alcohol because they were like 17, 18 years old. I can't remember actually, but they spotted my my vodka in my room and they were like, "Oh, cool." It's, it's a uh, Polish vodka, and I was like, "Yeah, it's 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 disgusting." They're like, "Let me have a try." So I gave them a shot of it, and they're like, "Wow, that's smooth. It's nice. It tastes good." I was like, "What? You what?" They're like, I, I want another one. It tastes new, nice. And I was like, "Excuse me." And then I took a shot. And I was freaking coughing because, oh god, it burned. It was horrible. So I guess I just really don't have an, uh, a, a taste for, for alcohol.
It's a shame. I mean, it's not really a shame. It's like, it's more like, haha, shame. You know? I'm sad to drink it, but I don't have tastes for anything else, really. I do drink cider, but it's more like I drink it because it's alcohol and not because I like it, you know? Like, if I'm drinking alcohol, it's probably going to be cider or shots of vodka or Blue Wicked. Blue Wicked, I actually do enjoy. Outside of being alcohol, but that's like the only thing I actually do enjoy and it's 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 alcohol in quotation marks, you know, it's not You don't drink blue wicked to get drunk, you know You drink it cuz you don't have a taste for alcohol and Everyone else is laughing at you Dragon soup I should drink straight vodka. Not only, uh, do they have a, uh, not only do they not have a taste for anything else, they cannot taste anything else. I heard they also can't speak. Poor, poor Russians. We really should teach them how to evolve. I think since we have a new uh, new slot, we can ask a dude to come over to our island, our island now if we go to a, uh, a secluded one in Mystery Island. Again, I, I thought that you could only have 10 islanders per, per world. And if Fangs come in here, that'll make it 10. So what's going to happen if I... It's the stuff Boris drinks. Not anymore, baby. Did a funny joke. That uh, I made, I made uh, a few nights ago. Let me see. Is our inventory clear? Yeah, mostly. A funny joke I made a few nights ago was uh, my mom, when she was, she's keeping up to date with the virus and stuff, and she said, uh, she told me when I was downstairs, hey, Boris Johnson has coronavirus. He's, he's in the hospital. And I was like, and I literally, within a second, said, wow, finally some good news. And like, no one left. But I laughed. I laughed in inside. Oh my god. That line was super fast. Savage. <laughs> Thank you, Wilbur. Hey, you're cute. Do we take the cow? Do we, uh... Dude, one of my favorite posts on Twitter, not too long ago 
was uh, the cow called Tipper. One of my favorite Twitter posts was uh, one that had a video of Doom Eternal. It was it was from the the first mission where uh, the Slayer bursts through a door, sees the uh, the Elder King, one of the one of the Elder Gods, and then like jumps over and grabs him by the neck. And the, the caption was on the Twitter post, me when I find a villager I like on an island. And I was like, this is so true. It's so true. It's relatable, you know? I do equally burst into an island, grab them by the throat, and throw them at my own island. Let's see who else there is. I mean, we are either, either we're taking them or we don't. Because we can't just come back to this island and get them again. So, if we want to grab them by the neck and, and shove them into my island, we have to do it now. I don't mind. I, I kind of like, I kind of like the, the cow. Plus, it fits out the it, it fits out the double roster, you know. Because so far we've gotten like a uh, a pretty good synergy with our islanders, where we we now have we have two chickens. Yeah, we have we have two chickens. We have two two wolves, and uh, this could give us two cows. I think, uh... Actually, no, it isn't a cow we have, is it? I forgot what their name was. Maybe? Maybe the, uh, the, um... Ah, I don't know their name. They're the one who always wears the red sweater. On our island. You need to get the whale wolf who makes instruments you can play. The male wolf? Bam. Or another one. So uh, I met Fang yesterday off stream. The rhino. I'm not talking about the rhino we have. The it's the other one, the brown brown furred uh, boar thing. Boar thing. I don't know, I don't, they're not a boar. Well, they're a bovine of some kind, because they've got horns. This will show me, uh, uh, the bull. Yeah, they, they look a bit like a bull. In fact, they, they look almost identical to this, except they're they're brown fur. I forgot what their name was. They got a really soft voice. But the, yeah, getting this villager might complete the uh, the circle. You know, two bullvines. Two chickens, two two wolves, Highland cow, yeah, that's the one. Or maybe not a cow. It could be some sort of animal that looks like a cow. They appear uh, quite consistently on our island. They couldn't for the longest time because we uh, we didn't have an incline on our. So I, I put their house, their house. 
I put their house on uh, the upper part of the island. Not the up, not the utmost part, but the one of the upper parts. But I didn't actually have both a bridge or an incline, meaning they could never get down. Very occasionally they would teleport down. I almost suggest there's species of cow out there. Jesus. But yeah, for the longest time they couldn't get down from where they were. Again, they would they would teleport down very occasionally, but most of the time they were stuck above on the on the upper floor until I built an incline which let them get down. You know, it's fine. We don't really need bamboo. We have so much bamboo and we're not even using it. We may as well craft a bunch of stuff with the bamboo. And just sell it at some point. Maybe. I also don't know what to do with bamboo shoots. I was about to say their, their name is Daisy May, but it's not. Daisy May is the turnip lady that comes every Saturday before 12 p.m. Meaning I can never get freaking turnips. What day is it? It's Friday, isn't it? Because I think uh, on Sunday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the game early, like 6, 6 a.m., just so I can get Daisy May. And buy a fuck ton, a fuck ton of, of turnips. Because again, let's be real, I'm not gonna be able to play this game. I'm not gonna be able to stream this game at uh, like 12 p.m. You know, okay, so the earliest stream I've ever done, fun fact, Saturday. This is Saturday? Oh my god. I have to do it tonight! <clears throat> Uh, I guess we're getting turnips tomorrow. So, what the fuck happened there? Okay, so I want, I want you guys to take a guess. What do you think the earliest stream I've ever done was? Like, what, what, what time do you think that I've streamed once at? Note that I don't mean AM. Like, like early, early, early a.m. Like, like, uh, like, if you say something like 4 a.m., no, 4 a.m. kind of works. If you say something like 2 a.m., usually I am sometimes very occasionally streaming at 2 a.m. anyway. But it doesn't, doesn't matter. I won't give you perimeters. Just, what, what do you think I, is the earliest stream I've ever done? Let's put holes behind me. Yeah. Oh no. Fucked it up. Those two rocks are fucked up today. I'm getting worse. I think it was MHA at nine in the morning. Mm, no. I don't think it was that. I also think I streamed My Hero Academia consistently at eight a at, at eight p.m. It's where my uh, it's where my 8 p.m. time schedule came from actually when it came to streaming, you know. The reason I stream at 8 p.m. commonly, or I say I stream at 8 p.m., is literally just because of My Hero Academia, because I would always start streaming that game at 8 p.m. But you're close. It was around that time, and uh, maybe not. It was close to that time.
But it was a. Uh, it was actually a little earlier than that. Hmm. I think it was in February last year. Maybe maybe January actually. January might be closer. But the stream that it was was the Jump Force beta, actually. So the earliest I've ever streamed was to stream the Jump Force beta because the beta was only available during specific times. One of those times was around 7 a.m. Which is fucking stupid, by the way. So I, I didn't actually sleep that night, or I slept. I sleep. I, I slept as soon as I finished the stream, but uh, I did stay up all all night just to play the Jump Force beta at seven a.m. Uh, was it worth it? Fucking no. <laughs> it's Jump Force, but uh, I mean, I guess it was worth it because it let me see the game was kind of crap, but I still bought it. Fucking anyway, because it's a piece of shit. I can't believe I bought Jump Force, dude. Uh, that's 40 pounds I'll never ever get back, and that's, that's sad. No joke, Jump Force is probably the worst game I've ever played. Like, it's. it's, it's, it's I'm pretty sure it is. I'm almost entirely confident that it's the worst game I've ever played. And you think, wow, but there's so many worse games, like E.T. or, you know, the the, the common pe the common games people come out with, like, you know, Shaq Fu. It's like, yeah, but I said the worst game I've ever played. Because, honestly, I don't play many bad games. I play a lot of mediocre games sometimes. Like, My Hero Wants Justice is pretty... Mediocre, but I like it. I love it. It got worse fighting game. Yeah, that's an understatement. So I don't really play many bad games, per se. I don't. I don't commonly play a lot of bad games. The bad games I do play tend to be just happen chance, where it's like this game that I was really excited for just wasn't that good. Thing. But so I honestly do think the worst game I've ever played is is Jump Force because well it's Jump Force. Now I could make a case for some PS2 games I had. Uh because Y'all know, uh, I know, I know you probably know it, but Kadikaris, uh, and his notoriety with the, a specific developer of PS2 games, where they basically just ripped off a bunch of properties, and, they, like, they put, like, a 30-minute movie in their game, uh, and then it also contained a bunch of stupid little kids' minigames, like, puzzle solving, or color booking, and, you know, like, I don't know if you specifically know that developer, who basically just does that with every single one of their games. Sonic 06. Oh. Oh. We already have it, apparently. But I had one of the games from that developer. I was I was so tempted to send a to Kadikaris. I was so tempted just to like, if I ever went to a con and he was going to it, I was going to bring the game and give it to him. Because it is awful. What am I doing in here? I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's horrible. 
Uh, it's it's the same as every other, every every one of their other games. It's the exact same thing. It's like you get a you get a twenty to thirty minute animation that's really bad, badly voice acted and shit like that. Uh, and you also get a bunch of mini games with it as well, like color booking and and shit like that. It's dreadful. Well, it, it was called uh, the one that I had was called Toy Box. And, uh, and I say, and I say the one that I had, because, like I said, the developers' games are pretty much the exact same game, just with different properties. It, it was the definition of scam. Phoenix Games, that's the one. Also, I actually forgot to talk to the to the to the cow again, so we're not getting the cow. My bad. Oh well. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find them again. It's a shame. I actually kind of wish I had uh, talked to them. I completely forgot about it. I got really distracted. So the the villager I was talking about was this one. See, they've got a uh, a cow tail. Oh, no, they're an elephant. Ah, I thought they were a cow. So we actually already have synergy. So we have two elephants, two chickens, two wolves. See? We have uh, a rhino and a uh, penguin. They don't really have any correlation, but we got some good synergy. We got some some great great parallels. I mean, we don't have Fang yet, but we're getting Fang tomorrow. A dirty little penguin. Honestly, it's it's impressive how deep of a voice Fang actually has. Because when I saw them on the map, I was like, "Oh, cool! Another wolf. Let's let's grab a look and see what they they sound like." And then they came over. He's like, rrr, 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 rrr. And "I was like, what the fuck? That your voice does not fit." Nice. Squid is pretty good. They suffer quite a lot. This man, so detailed. I can I can tell exactly what that squid felt like. 
A weird sentence, but you know, it's, it's a sentence. It works. I can tell that what everyone's squid feels like, you know? Having one of my own really like, opens up the possibility. Why are they wearing hats? It's so weird. Dude, okay, they're, these villagers are not having a good time with this event. They're not having fun, dude. They're all like, I can't catch anything, dude. And I'm like, same. I've caught nothing but fucking X. Got to concentrate. Got to be competitive. That's a fucking egg. So is that, but we're gonna try. Oh, it's getting pulled up. Nice. Oh, that's not an egg. No, that's a that's not a uh, fish. Let's go. I can't put it in. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
We should also check what the, the fish swag is. What? Give me like four times that for, for four, for three. Back. Ooh! It's like a spam box, dude. That's cute. So if it goes until 6 p.m., it's eight minutes. I think we should wait and see. I wonder, there's probably gonna be like a results thing. You know, I wish there was more bags you could buy. Pretty cool. I don't know why I'm putting the fish in storage. It just it doesn't do much for me in there. I guess you'd go out and tell it to him. like to sell some fish. I'm guessing we traded all of our, uh, our points for this bag. And the more punch you get, the more, or whatever, or the more stuff you get. Oh. I got at least 10 points. I can get 10 points. For five minutes. Uh, it's probably an egg. Yeah. At least it took a relatively little of our time. Excuse me. 
just... Come on. Oh no, it's not gonna work. Gotta adjust correctly. Come on. You know you want it. That's an egg. Throw the fish out, dude. Nice. Running down the sea is a lot more dangerous than running up the sea. Because we can't see any fish. Ah. What? We actually got it? I mean, we didn't, it didn't count towards the score, but we got it. I was just gonna pull the reel back in. Also, you, you gain money from this event instead of losing money. Uh, unfortunately, you don't get enough to warn actually doing it consistently. Nice. Should be done any second now. Let me have a look at my actual computer clock. Yeah, like five seconds or so. In July. And she's re she's re looking at Dina's jacket, dude. She's the true Russian.
Oh, is it here again? The sign one is pretty nice, actually. It's an epic clown costume. Damn, I wish- I, oh, I so wish the glasses were moved further back. Ugh. Oh. Do we have any uh, of these n colors? Or do we have not one of these colors? I don't think we have the cyan one, so I guess we'll go full cyan. I like how the, uh, the sun immediately goes full yellow once you reach 6 p.m. We can change. Not a good effort for this. We did already have cyan shoes. Honestly, I didn't actually mind the look of uh of these. That looked pretty okay. These probably work better though. Other than that are normal socks. Let's put that. Oh, well, let's have a look at this. Definitely looked like a wallpaper, for sure. And we sat immediately on the backpack, the really hard tin, and crushed our spine. Now we really need more hats. Like this hat's good, it's great even. But you know, just wish I had more. Don't look too bad without it though. Just, you know, it, uh, it looks better, honestly. It looks much better when you have it on. much else to do for now.
Well, we are done for today, I think. Oops, I meant to express this button instead. Ugh. Time to actually have a meal for once, I guess. All right. Well, we will get Fang tomorrow, which would be cool, because I like him. He looked cool. He looked like a fun villager. And uh, I forgot to talk to the, to the cow, so we're not getting the cow. But oh well, we can find someone else. Alright. See you later. Thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll be playing... I'll probably be playing uh, Risk of Rain 2 later on tonight. Yeah. Kind of half addicted to that game, honestly. Let's see, I, I've played it. <laughs> I played it 15 hours. And I only started playing it like a day ago, two days ago. Alright. See ya.